Previously, I had mentioned that if you're going to give away a free offer, it can come in the form of a PDF report, video, webinar, you name it. But in this video, I'll show you how you can do just that with a PDF report. And it is easily one of the fastest ways you can come up with a free offer. And if you don't like the idea of creating a video or do a webinar, that's totally fine. Because with a PDF book, people can download it and read it on their computers or even in their phones or mobile tablets. So let's do just that. So I'm not gonna actually write a book here on the spot, but I'm gonna show you my thought process when it comes to writing out a free report. So as you can see here, this is basically a series of tax notepads. It is totally up to you. But nowadays, you might notice that it takes several seconds or quite a moment for you to load Microsoft Word or a Word program because of the number of features. It's not like what it used to be. It takes a long time to load up. So normally what I like to do is come up with a notepad and just write away. It's a lot faster writing in the notepad and I just write my contents right off the bat. But bear in mind though, when you write a notepad, the contents are not formatted whatsoever, but it's a lot faster to write away than in a Word program, especially when the pages get more or there's more content. So what I advise you to do is just write it all away in a piece of text document, or if you wanna segregate it into a few chapters like what I'm doing here, feel free to do just that. Then once you have all the contents ready to go, what you do is that you open up your Word program and you just paste everything. So I'm going to just copy and paste this one in particular and paste it here. You can see how fast that was. All right. And then I'll just format away from here. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that if you want to space out the contents to the next page, rather than hitting the enter key all the way, it's going to look ugly actually because if you're going to make some changes afterwards you have to edit the entire book to make sure that the chapters stick at the right places so what you would do is that if this is meant to be on the next page you press this thing called Control enter and there you go so no matter what you write on the previous page it will not affect the contents on the following pages and they will not get jumbled up as a result so this is often overlooked and few people actually know that. So moving along, one thing I want to add though is that when you're writing a special report, you don't have to necessarily write hundreds of pages. You're not writing a Bible over here, so don't worry about that. In fact, it is better to write as straight to the point as possible with less fluff. If you keep it anywhere from 20 to 40 pages, it's pretty good already. I've even seen reports as short as just like 11 to 12 pages. Again, it's not about the length, it's about covering the important things you need to cover um, and without writing too many words as possible. So let's just go ahead. And normally what I like to do is I like to reserve the first page for the product cover. So what I do here is that I like to have a cover covering the whole page. So if you already have a cover ready to go, yes, you can just paste it here. So what I do is that I will click insert and I'll add a shape. Normally I'll take the rectangle and I will cover the entire page here just like that. Okay, place it here and make sure it's covered in its entire T. All right, so what you do after that is you right click and select format shape, click on fill, and you see there's this option called picture or texture fill. So do just that and click on file and select your cover for this uh, product. So in this case, I'm going to use one ready to go cover. And there you go. So as you can see here, the entire page is covered just like that. Really good. And then following to the next page, of course, don't forget to save your work every now and then. So you can edit the contents anyhow you want. And let's just say this is the entire um, book already. What you'll do is that you can format the text by going to normal, select modify, and you can change the font size, 
the font body as well. I'm just going to go with Arial 14, for example. Click OK. And I think this looks good. Normally, I like to keep font sizes a bit bigger these days because it's easier for people to read. And that's what I would do over here. So you can also do the same with uh, the headings as well. You can change the headings, colors, the font size. Obviously, the first heading should be bigger than the rest. That's something you can consider doing and you can change the heading too as well. It's totally up to you. And there you go. So this is what I normally like to do and have the page format nicely. So another thing you want to add is you want to add the header and footer so you can put the number of pages by double clicking at the bottom here, footer. And let's look at insert. Or rather, let's just go to layout. So you're looking for page number and you can put bottom of the page and you'll see that there are a few types of uh, styles that you can consider adding in. So that's plain number or you can be a little bit fancy, it's totally up to you. Okay, so let's say you like it this way, you can have it aligned to the right looks nicer that way. If you want to add a line breaker, you can do this. And there you go. And at the, at the top of the page, the, the header, you can add your own title of the book. So let's just say it's called Lead Attraction Secrets. And have it aligned to the center. And there we go. Well, there's nothing really much to this whole thing. It's, it's actually quite easy. Okay. Now do just that and you can continue adding with the rest of the contents here. And finally, save the work, click save as, and you'll want to save it in PDF format. And there you go. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by All Super Info.